everyone, my name is Simon Red, and you're watching Simon Red Tarot. You guys, I am so excited to make an announcement. Guess what? Yo, we made it to 700. I have 700 subscribers. I'm so, like, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all like, have no idea. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And because of that, I'm going to, um do two free giveaways so if you want to enter this giveaway all you have to do is leave me a red heart in the comments leave me a red heart and i'm going to pick two giveaway winners tomorrow because like i just oh my god because i do want every 50 every 50 subscribers and i thought i was only going to get like 650 but i made it all the way to 700 so like i'm excited like so that's two i'll, I'll owe you guys two readings so if you want to participate in my free reading giveaways all you have to do is enter um uh, is, to enter is drop a red heart in the comment section below. You don't even have to make a long comment or nothing. Just drop one in it below and tomorrow I'll be choosing two winners and I'll give y'all a free video read of whatever y'all want to ask me. But it can't be about murder or pregnancy. And yet somebody was like, people ask about murder. Yeah, people ask about the crazy stuff. But even if I could, like I'm not, because you know, psychics have been used in like stuff like that before. But the thing about that is you don't want to get hemmed up and they be like, yeah, so-and-so said so and so said this, and then, then the FBI be trying to come get me. I don't got time. Like, I don't got time. Like, or somebody be trying to kill me because I didn't say something. Listen, that's how you go. That's how you ask somebody privately. Like, or like a, you know, a more seasoned psychic. You know, like somebody who don't mind protecting themselves. But I'm, I'm not one to do magic on people or, or like cloak myself. I don't do all that. So I'm not the one to do that. With that being said, I'm gonna um. Go ahead and get started with this weekend. I'm going to be finishing my Twin Flame story this weekend. So, that should be exciting. You guys, not, I don't even, yo. I'll, I'll be scared to tell y'all. I'm going to put these um, stone over on here. I'm talking. I'll be scared to tell y'all because my Twin Flame experience, I'm really spiritually open. So, I can see and feel stuff that normal people can't, well, I'm not going to say normal, other people can't see. I'm going to give you a second to pick. But that's why I'd be kind of hesitant to tell my story, you know, because it's like, I could easily end up in the nut house, like, easily. So it's like, especially when I start telling you about him, and oh my God, y'all can't believe what he, uh, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all ain't going to believe it, but y'all can look the story, y'all can look it up. I got receipts, I got receipts, but I don't know if I'm, how much receipts I'm going to put out because I don't want y'all, like, Googling him and shit, and then, like, he be mad at me, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide, but okay, power one. This, I didn't even tell you what the reading was about. This reading is about, oh, y'all seen the title? Oh, anyway, this reading about is who has something to tell you and what do they have to tell you? Somebody has something to tell you and I'm going to find out what it is and it'll, however it resonates, it'll resonate for you. If it doesn't, maybe pick another pal or another reader. We're going to go ahead and start with, um, pal one, if you pick the yellow stone. Somebody is thinking about, I seen, I actually seen this card when I was shuffling because it flipped over and as soon as I seen that, I thought, um, somebody's thinking about leaving a situation. Somebody's thinking about leaving a situation. This could be a love situation. This could, but I don't think this is a love situation. I think this is like somebody, maybe somebody has a sister or brother or friend and they're thinking about moving away. It's like things were always done a certain way where you guys are from or where you guys live, but this person is really thinking about leaving they i think they kind of already made their decision already they decided they don't want to be in the same they decide let me turn my thing down because i had a copyright claim because i had back for music on but the thing about leaving some type of situation behind what situation is this yeah, I, but for me, I feel like somebody think about leaving their hometown. That's what I really get from this. Just to make cards fair, but I'll take this one. For some of you guys, it is a love situation, but that's not for all of you. But this came, I got the uh, term mark on my hand, too, so don't let that distract you. Um... I heard somebody said they can help with that. If you can help me with my eczema issue, go ahead and hit me up. On my Instagram, which is down the link below, hit me up. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, for some of you guys, this is a love situation. This could be even a marriage. Yeah, so I'm definitely saying somebody's thinking about leaving a marriage or leaving a, at least a significant other at the very least. But I'm feeling a strong marriage to come be with you. 
Or this could be like your boy or your girl thinking, oh, let me leave my wife because I got I got this person I want to be with. And they're going to tell you about it. And they're going to ask you what you think. I think that you're going to tell them not to do it. I think that you kind of already know this, this. You knew this was going on. And you didn't approve with it. But it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to say bros before the hoes or nothing like that. But it's kind of like you're not going to tell on your, your mans. You're not going to tell on your homegirl. Or whatever, because that's your homegirl at the end of the day. But what they were doing were wrong. Was wrong. But yeah, somebody's thinking about leaving some type of situation. They're tired of it being like a um a three way. What did what they need to tell Power One? What did somebody need to tell Power One? Yeah. Some and then I don't like when they go back and forth like this. And then some yeah, okay. Some of you guys is like think it's like a happy home and they're gonna break up their happy home. To go elsewhere, it's like they in this happy, nice, lit, like, room or whatever. But they kind of, like, whatever's outside of that is enticing them. So, that per your person, whoever you think about is going to come ask you. They should leave the situation they're already in. Or, if you're this person they're going to leave this for, they're going to tell you, I was already in this happy home. But, like, I just can't. Like, I like you so much. Like, I'm so interested in you. I'm going to leave my wife. I'm going to leave my husband to be with you. They're going to tell you this probably at night. When they do tell you this information... And somebody's also thinking about moving too. Just moving away. Like somebody's thinking about just moving away and starting like a whole new life. Either way, this power, everybody in this power is, start, is moving away to start a whole new life. When they tell you this, it's like going to be a lot. Like they just going out of nowhere, they're going to just start saying like, I feel this way about this. This is like, I, like let's say if they are leaving somebody like, oh, this person's never that good to me anyway. Like we always fight and argue all the time. The sex isn't good. And I think so-and-so cheated and I don't really like her kids. And they still really like my kids. Like they just going to start running down. Like, like it's going to be like throw up out their mouth. And it's like, it's going to be all these secrets that they never told you that they're going to be telling you for some, for somebody, somebody is gay. Somebody is gay. But I don't think this is the person leaving relationship. I feel like this is the person that's moving away, right? Is gay, and they're moving away because wherever y'all at is not good. It's not safe, or like, not um. Even if it is, it's not like um. People gonna look at them different if they gay. Somebody was an athlete or something like that, but they're gonna look at them like they're gay. So they're gonna be like, they're gonna tell you. I think I really think that for somebody it's a sibling, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm gay or whatever. You know what's crazy? I be reading. It's like my. It's like somebody else be talking. Like it's me talking, but it's just like I can hear myself. But I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. But it's like I'm in somebody. But I guess I am in somebody else's energy. It's like them talking through me. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, they want to live their life. I think that if, if you do have a gay sibling or um gay um friend, it's like they just want to live their life. They probably met somebody on the internet and they're going to go like live in their city. They might not go live with them, but at least go live in their city. Some people are like just moving in general. I heard something about San Francisco. I don't really want to say that because they, they do equate that. They, people already equate that to being gay. But people who are just like somebody is thinking about moving. Well, they're not really thinking about it. They already made the decision. They're going to tell you, and they're going to tell you why. And when they do tell you why, it's going to be, it's not going to be like, oh, I'm about to do this. It's going to be like a quick, it's going to be like a breakdown. Like, they're going to break it down to you. They're going to tell you stuff that they, that you never even thought they would tell anyone. It's a lot of self-doubt in my mind right now. So wherever they at, it's probably uncomfortable. Yeah, they're going to come have a conversation with you. And they're going to tell you about everything. Like, this may actually be a younger, either, who is it? Younger to middle? Sibling? Some Somebody might be a twin. But they're going to come tell you about all this stuff. They've been, they've been sitting on this. They've been sitting, this has been weighing heavy on them for a while. But it's just kind of just been keeping it closed. But when you do hear about this, like, you're going to be very surprised. If this is a sibling or a friend or a lover, even if this is a lover, because I'm in two different energies. Is somebody leaving a relationship and is somebody is leaving to start a whole new life in general? Let me get one of my strawberries. Y'all like my new setup? Doesn't it look romantic? This person wants to be open. They want to be open, but they feel like being open might get them attacked. 
so they're kind of like weighing the pros and cons like should i really be open with this person or not if somebody come and tell you something don't go tell everybody even if it's your family like if somebody decided they want to come out to you or this could have already happened for somebody they don't want you to tell everyone But whatever happened, they already think about, they feel like it's going to put a target on their back. Whether they leaving their husband or wife or whether they moving away to be gay or just moving away to be like some, just start a whole new life. It's going to cause a lot of friction. Maybe, okay, maybe somebody, maybe this is a real traditional pile where y'all had like some type of family that's like, like a real traditional family. Like maybe y'all had arranged marriages or like. People in your family, your, your, the girls were always housewives and the men were always like architects or something like that. Like y'all have some type of family like that, some type of cultural thing or like some type of like just a way of y'all doing things in your family and this person just doesn't want to do it. If they don't know how to tell, tell you that. I heard an older brother for a while. But they know if they choose to leave, whatever situation this is, it's going to get them attacked, especially by family. But they're willing to take that risk. They're telling me to keep pull off. The, they're telling me not even to shuffle to just keep pulling off the top of the deck. Which I never do, but it's like, I don't know. They're going to take a chance. They're going to tell you that they want to take a chance. However, they're going to, they, they, this is something that they've been holding in and they're really adamant about that. They just want you to be happy for them because they're happy. Uh-huh. Pick off the deck two more times. Then I can go back to shuffle. But I think when you hear this, you're going to be really happy to hear this. So if you are a little homewrecker, which is okay, I still love you. If you are a little homewrecker, you're going to be happy that this person is leaving their person. If you if you are like the sibling, you're going to be happy that you... Because I feel like if your sibling is gay, it's like you already knew they was gay this whole time. Like you already... Or they, if they was different or did something like odd or not, you already knew this. And you wanted... You was wait, you was kind of just waiting for them to embrace it. The candles done went out on this side. Yeah, it's going to bring them very... It's going to... Whatever decision they make it, it's going to bring them abundance. So if it is a love situation and your person is married or in a relationship, because I do see an apartment, like an apartment, and for me, that's that's telling me, not to say that people in apartments can't be married, but it's, right now it's telling me, like, not something long-term, like something, um, or this person might have just been living with somebody, and maybe they're moving out with somebody, and maybe they're going to ask you to move with them, or tell you that they're moving. But whatever they're telling you is definitely going to affect you. That's why they're telling you this. It's going to affect you. So that's why they're telling you. That's why they're telling you this. Yes, uh, but that's cool too, you know. Sorry guys, oh, it's giving me a minute. I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to say because they see it. it's like they're stumbling over their words. But it's in my head, so it sounds cool. It's like blabble. Whoever this is doesn't talk much. Like talk about their feelings. Like they probably a talker, but they probably don't talk much about their actual feelings. And that's why it's hard for them to talk to me right now. Talk to me right now. Yeah. They don't talk about their feelings much. Somebody said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And where are my other tea lights? I can't find it. So I guess I have to deal with it like this. Maybe that's what they was telling me to buy tea lights just when I was at the store. But I said, I don't need tea lights. I got plenty of tea lights. Obviously, I don't. Yeah, so basically, this person is, telling, is going to tell you that they're moving out of something. And whatever this is, is going to cause a lot of friction. It's going to cause a lot of friction. They're leaving something stable into the unknown. Okay. Mm. Yep. We got the chair card. I didn't even have to. I, I only shot all over the hell. They're telling me that they're leaving. Let's get some advice. Support. 
my angels told me to tell you that if, if, if it is a sibling or a friend or something, you need to support them in their sick decision. Even if, okay, because it could be a lot. It could be either they're leaving somebody for you or it could be your friend that's saying they're leaving their situation for someone else or something else. But either way, that the angels want you to know to support them because this is divinely guided. And it's going to bring them a lot of abundance. Like, this is going to bring them a lot of abundance, help, happiness. If their money was fucked up, it's going to bring them that. It's going to bring them everything. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm hearing a year and a half from now, they're going to be a completely different person. By 20, by, okay, between a year and a half and between 2023, it's going, you're going to see everything. This decision, this one decision they made is going to drastically change their life. Yeah. So when they do come ask you about this, they want you to, they want you to encourage them to go. And you know what I just heard? This might be some of you guys telling yourself that. And that's the weirdest shit ever. Because I was like, wait, really? This might be like your higher self. Or are you telling, or this is what you tell yourself, but you just never go through with it. But if that's, if it is you, and you know it's you, go ahead and make this decision. Go ahead and make this decision to go because it's going to be a good decision for you. Oh my God, I love Drake. Mm, I probably could bag him in real life if you get a chance. But you guys think I need an intro? I thought it was random, but yeah. This person is definitely thinking about leaving. If, if it's you, go ahead and make that move. Let me get one more. Yeah. So I, I'm doing a lot of pauses in this. Like, I don't know. I kind of, I like this energy. So I, was, I kind of want to sit in it. Like, this energy is a, it's like a good energy. Like, I don't know. It's like comforting. It's like, it's like, it's, I can feel a lot of self-love. Whatever they're doing is because it's out of love. It's out of love for themselves, but not in a selfish way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anything else? They don't really have much else to say. So I'm going to have to get you a quote to leave you guys with. I think I'm gonna make a tarot deck of my own with appearances so I can try to get what people look like better. Cause there's no really tarot decks like that. So I know y'all be wanting to know eye color and all that. What lies between us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Yeah. So this person needed to believe in yourself or you need to believe in yourself and just make this decision. But it took a lot of courage, whatever decision he made. But yeah, that's what that's what Paul One's person has to tell you. Your person needs to tell you whoever you thought about or whoever this resonates with you with. Because some of you guys were thinking about someone else, but it came up to be something else. But it's something you needed to know because you're going to be a part of this new journey that this person has. I think that you're going to help them make the decision. Or that, like it's somebody who, who cares about what you think, though. They're going to do it anyway, but you you giving them like their blessing is going to like, you know, really put it over the edge for them. Because I think that maybe they're from a traditional family. Y'all might be from a traditional family or something like that. But with that being said, I was your reading power one. If it resonated, please let me know. Please comment down below. And don't forget to enter my free reading giveaway. I'll be picking two winners tomorrow by 7 p.m. All you have to do is leave a red heart emoji if you want to be entered in that. And I will send you my email address so you can send me your questions. With that being said, I'll move on to the next pile. Pile number two. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, pile two. You got three cards immediately. Mm. Your energy is completely different. Somebody wants to tell you that either they want to take something from you or somebody is trying to take something from you. Have you guys your boyfriend or girlfriend? It's like they're still in your life. Somebody thinks you're being selfish. You might have just recently came into some money or started doing better in your business or better at work or came into something abundant. Even if it was like abundance of peace or something like that, of, of time, anything. But I'm thinking like uh, maybe financial, financially and, and like physically, you would have came into something. And you're not sharing. I heard a new car. Somebody just got a new car. It is a red car. Honda. 
I'm saying they're old. Or your new car is red or your old car was red. I had, somebody had a red hatchback Honda. I think it is a Honda or something like that. But you just recently came into some money, right? Or something better, something new. And this person was expecting for you to get a piece of it. Piece of it, but they didn't. So they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to say that you're like this now, like you're selfish and you're greedy and they're trying to, they're going to shine a light on it. So that's what they want to tell you. They want to tell you that they feel like you're being selfish and greedy. I don't feel like you are though. I feel like you just kind of minding your business, but you, you should definitely get some black abrasion. That's probably why the stone was on here because you need a pressure stone. feel you being selfish per se I, I feel you enjoying your life and your fruits of your labor and you not want to to overly extend yourself and share with others just yet but this person is very entitled they might be a scorpio or capricorn somebody unicorn i don't know what the unicorn guys do with girl, but i don't just saying i'm also here in taurus and gemini something like that this person definitely think you selfish but you're not selfish though this is your prize. I definitely been talking behind your back. I asked me to use the hard tarot. This might be some real shit. Yeah, something new, something shiny. And they feel like it should be theirs. But you might got some money because you got the will of fortune here. They feel like they're giving. It's like they're giving. Okay, it's like, okay, what are you guys used to use used, used to just give to them? But now you're giving to everyone, but you're not giving as much to them because you're you're giving to everybody. So to them, it's coming off like, oh, this person being selfish. But in reality, you kind of just rationing out whatever you had, whether that be your car or your money or your time or your love. It's like you're rationing out between so many people. Somebody has kids. Because of that, that used to be in your center of attention. And they don't like they don't like not being the center of attention. Yeah. This person wants something from you. What do they want from you? They feel like you owe them something. I don't know why they feel like you owe them something though. Maybe it kind of helps you get it or something like that. Or they, I think it's the person that just always been around. Yeah, they feel like you. They feel like you stabbed them in the back. They feel like you stabbed them in the back because you're not giving to them as much or you're not giving them something that you have. So it's like they feel like you're being fixed and they're going to tell you that they feel like being fixed. So this, there is an argument coming your way. Stay grounded, please. Like, go ahead and let this person, whatever um, feelings they have, let them go ahead and get those out. Because I honestly think they, their little feelings are delusional. I think they're being delusional. I think they're being extra. Because really, all this person is saying, like, all I see this person saying is, like, you used to do this, you used to do that, and now you don't do this, now you do that. But it's like, why are you obligated to do all that? It's like, why are you obligated to do all that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because this is a grown-ass person, guys. <laughs> this is a grown-ass person, and they're complaining because you don't want to give them something. It's a grown ass person. That's this, but this relationship is probably going to end this friendship or relationship or whatever this is. Because you're going to see their true colors. Their true colors are definitely about to come out. And they're about to show their ass. Let me get, I said to get two more from this. Yeah. This person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
They say he's not worried about nobody else. So it's like they feel like you're not worried about nobody else but yourself. But I don't think that you're being selfish, though. I think that you're just... They feel like you level up without them. Yeah, I know INT. This person is needy. This person is needy. This person is like, this person is very dependent on you. I don't know why. Like, is this your boyfriend? Is this your boyfriend or girlfriend? Like, why are they so dependent? Because this is a very, this is very codependent, like borderline toxic relationship. Because it's not, I can see if you being selfish. And I don't see that you being selfish. This looks like you leveled up or got something out. Or you look like you're about to level up. For many of you leveled up already. But then for some of you, it's like. It's like you got something. They want what you got. Because they feel like they're entitled to it. Maybe they with you in the gym before you had it. And they feel like, oh, this person wanna be shit without me. So you're gonna get one more card and see. I can't get my dragon going. I don't know why. Give me another card. Yeah, this person's getting ready to fight. Hopefully, don't turn physical. Yeah, it's gonna be a fight. Look at this. Look at all these swords. Let's fight. They might try to cur cur um 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 not curu um what is it called um well I don't know what the word word right now but they might try to get other people to make them feel the same way because now it's like they've been seeing this they're sneaking around your back but they're talking to others about you before they actually confront you so they're they're, they're getting you know getting ready to fight. But it's going. This fight is going to show their true colors with this light coming out. It's going to show. It's going to shine a light on them. It's going to shine a light on them, and you're going to see their true colors. And that's what's going to make you be like, you know what? I don't got time. I'm. I'm over it. Cause that's who you really are. Like I'm just all here loving up and living my life. Like I don't owe you nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you're so entitled. If you want what I got, you need to work for it too. But you don't need to be walk telling me that I have to give you something. I have to do this. I have to do that. That's the type of energy you're going to have when this person comes towards you. Like, you're not going to take that shit at all. Like, you're not going to take that shit at all. Not even a little bit. <sighs> all right. Let's get you some advice. Any advice for my pal? Any advice for my pal? Relationship harming. This relationship... Sometimes, yeah, so it says the angels are opening your heart to everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Even if this relationship, this whatever this is, where it ends up like disappearing or y'all end up like not being able to reconcile, like one day y'all will make up in the future. But right now, like it's going to end up breaking y'all apart for a little while. And you got to understand that that's okay. That is for the best. Sometimes God takes people out of your life so you can concentrate. Like, I always tell you, I always talk about my twin flame story. When I loved my twin flame so much, I couldn't do shit around him. I I can't, I couldn't do shit around him. Like, and I was just like, I was ready to give up everything just to be with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I and I, I know that sometimes I could be a very codependent person. And since I'm codependent like that, I feel that's why I'm not in a relationship right now. Because if I could be in a relationship, if God sent me somebody I like, they might be, you know, I might get so tied up in them. I forget my purpose. I forget, you know, what I support her to do. I forget my project. I forget my businesses. I forget about y'all. So sometimes, so maybe this, this fight has to happen. It needs to happen. But I think that the reason why it's letting me notice in this terror reading is because they don't want you to overreact. Because remember in the beginning, I said to stay grounded. They don't want you to overreact. They don't want to turn physical. Is listen to what they got to say. And, you know, just, you know, y'all go your separate ways. But that's what somebody has to tell you. Somebody has to say they feel like you've been selfish. They feel like you won't think about it no more. They feel like you won't hang about it no more. Somebody says you don't fuck me no more. Like, but I think we're taking care of you all for the first time. And codependent people, they don't like when we start taking care of yourself. Does that mean that you can't take care of them? I mean, this person needs to learn how to stand on their own, too. Okay, pal. So that was your video for resonate. Please let me know. With that being said, I'm gonna move on to the next pile. Yeah, they feel like you're keeping all your good stuff to yourself. But as you should, like. Somebody might want you to co-sign on something too. Don't co-sign on nothing. 
And I think that might what start the argument because maybe you came into some money and you was like, oh, and they was like, oh, since you got all this money now, can you co-sign this for me? And you was like, no, I'm not co-signing nothing. And they feel like you're being selfish because they know that you just fixed your credit and you just got came into some money. You just got a new job. And they don't understand why you won't co-sign them, but they don't understand that that's, that I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, if that resonates, please let me know. If you would like to enter my new my um pick a card giveaway, all you have to do is leave a heart a heart shape a red heart emoji at the in the comment section. I will choose two winners tomorrow to receive a free video reading from me. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with anyone you think it might help. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video and subscribe to my channel. Or almost to 1K guys, this is so exciting. But moving on to pile three. Oh, I'm not saying that, Spirit. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, I don't want to say that because I want you guys to be surprised. Somebody, okay, so they said say anyway because some people want to say no. <laughs> but somebody might be getting married or somebody might be getting in a long term relationship. Like somebody's going to come ask you. Because I, I really thought of wedding cake when I seen this. And then with this, it's like they're high and they're going to give you a gift. And you know, someone was seeing, I was thinking about you all day long. Somebody's going to come in front of everybody and ask you to marry them. Somebody else that's going to actually be in a relationship with them. They definitely want to take it to the next level. They feel, you make them feel really warm inside. They feel like y'all together have a lot of things. Like a lot of good things. Y'all can create a lot of good things together. Or, you know what's crazy? This could also be a business marriage. This could be a business marriage. Or some type of partnership as well. But whatever they're going to actually do, it's like, it's serious and it's big. It's going to bring you a good surprise. You told me to say that somebody's going to get a phone call if they watch this reading. If you get a phone call if they watch this reading, comment. Because I want to know. Just that what does somebody need to say to Paul? Yeah, they want to become one, they want to be attached to you. Some of you guys gonna be really happy about this proposal or wifey ship or whatever. Oh my god, oh, it's so beautiful! Oh my god. I love the feeling of being in love, yo. It's like a, I haven't felt like I haven't felt this warm in a while. But y'all probably gonna end up having sex after or cuddling or going or just being together afterwards. Yeah. This person is coming towards you. They they dead set on it. They made that decision. It's only a matter of time. This person can snatch you up. And everybody gonna be surprised. They're gonna be like, what? Such and such got married, such and such together? Like, what? Nobody gonna see this coming. Nobody's gonna see this, this coming. But it's definitely gonna come. A matter of time. You make this place feel really warm inside. You like that fire. What was part number, uh, number three have to tell? They want to tell you that they're beautiful. They know you have options, and they have options too, but they don't care about those options. They they, they feel like you're their option. They feel like you're beautiful, but you do talk too much. <laughs> but they never get tired of it. If this is an old situation, I don't think this is what this means. I heard it bring life. What they gonna bring life to though? And you 
another chameleon salamander. My beauty. I mean, can y'all... I gotta use two different cards because I don't get what these cards mean. Like, I get what they mean, but it's only giving me one word. It's saying, this one is saying, bring the life, and this one's saying beauty, but what does that mean, spirit? Can you please define? Okay. Manifestation. Okay, so maybe you thought that you getting married was dead, right? Or you having another relationship was, was dead. Maybe you gave up, right? But this relationship is going to come in fast. You're going to go on a date and it's going to, like, okay. So some of you guys thought this would never happen to you. Like, you was, like, kind of like, oh, this probably would never happen. Like, love is dead. You kind of just been walking through life, like, whatever. Like, I'm, you know, like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But then this relationship is going to come in and it's going to, like, wow you like you're gonna be like wow i can't believe i'm in this relationship right it's gonna lead to engagement long-term commitment but if you manifested it i think that you probably manifested it a long time ago but it didn't know yeah somebody did a spell or had like some type of dream or something like that or, or being a bride or being in like this this power couple relationship or something they was dreaming or something like that or you might have manifested it and wrote it down somewhere but then you kind of forgot about it because what we gotta understand is we can manifest all we want, but manifestation is only going to come. It's only going to come to you when you're ready for them. Like I can say, "Oh, I want a million dollars tomorrow," but if God know that I, I'm not, I can't handle a million dollars. God's not going to give me a million dollars until I can handle a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you have to understand, like you're you're going to get things when the universe feels like it's aligned with you. Okay. So manifestation is not a microwave. If you can't just put like put a put a well, you might can manifest five dollars because you know you are like you know, but to manifest a whole mansion and everything overnight is not gonna happen. Certain stuff takes time, takes overtime. So you probably a long time ago or like maybe I heard in the summertime, around a full moon in the summertime, maybe y'all manifested or wrote something down about marriage or, or relationship or meeting a person like this, and now you're just now meeting this person and it's what you've been manifesting this for a long time. I'm scratching my hand. To love you. You all really like that smile. Can we define this other card? This person fighting demons yeah you're gonna get love you're worthy of love your spirit guides whoever you talk to in your head is telling you telling me that they're here to help you and they need you to understand that so when you get a nudge to go ahead and date this person go ahead and date this person and you just gotta trust the process because even though i said what this person has to tell you this look like some future shit like this look like some stuff that's gonna happen but like it's gonna happen off guard like you might this might happen like a month from now maybe even a year from now and you go like man that card didn't resonate. it's gonna be something in here that resonate with you and it's gonna give you a weird feeling i heard you're gonna get like a weird a weird tingling feeling where at hand something something's with your hand something's gonna happen with your hand or something to let you know that this is for you but it's this is more future, but this is what they're gonna have to tell you. This is what this is what they're gonna have to tell you. For some others of you, this is about to happen soon. But either way, this is happening. You gotta accept it. Right. That's why I can't heal because I keep scratching. It's so hard to scratch. Anything else, spirit? Thanks. Thanks. This person is going to be crystal clear with their intentions. This is going to cause a, a it's going to cause like a life change. Answer prayers. I feel like you prayed for this or you manifested this, but I don't think that it was recently, so that's probably why you don't know what I'm talking about. And it's going to, like, you want to have to overcome your previous, like, challenges with relationships and stuff like that. Especially with men. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. But don't, okay, even though they, they let you know this, because for some of you guys, this is, like, 
you manifested this and like you've been waiting for it, but you wasn't really worried about it. But you you see this reading left to give you a sign that it's coming. But spirit wants you to continue to prioritize yourself and continue to work on yourself so you can be ready when this cup of love comes for you. But yeah, that was your reading power three. I really hope it resonates. If it did, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the post notification bell, and um, you know, share this video with anyone you think it might help. Now, with that being said, I want to make an announcement, guys. I'm so, like, floored right now. I've hit 700 subscribers. And it, it feels amazing. You guys are amazing. And to celebrate that, I told you guys that 650 would be my next one. But I, pass, I surpassed 650. So, therefore, I owe you guys two. So, um, yeah. So, that means I would give y'all two free readings. So, all you have to do is... Leave a red heart emoji at the bottom of this video if you're interested in that. Sorry I paused for a minute. I'm just like, I'm in awe. Like, thank you guys so much. You don't understand how much I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. I really do. <coughs> but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.